T.E. Lawrence of Arabia Airport, 10.32 hours, 18th September, 1975. If you do this one thing for me, Laura, I'll remember you forever. Excuse me, Mr. Secretary, sir. This is your captain speaking. We are about to land. I have to ask you to fasten your seatbelt. I hope you enjoyed your flight, and I have the pleasure of flying you again sometime in the future. Thank you, sir. Miss Goodbody, is what exactly is happening here? We're Dr. Grovinger. Here, Miss Goodbody, I'm desirous of acquiring knowledge of the denouement of the motion picture. Does he get the girl? Yes, but only a leg and a breast. Their plane crashes, and they eat each other. Now, will you please fasten your safety belt? Wait just a minute, Miss Goodbody. We have here a problem that is in danger of escalating into an administrative crisis. Where is my diary? I need to know what day it is. I see Monday was Northern Rhodesia. Northern Ireland. Tuesday was Rhodesia. Where's my diary? I had it on me when we took off. It has to be here somewhere. It's my diary. Gentlemen, my diary. I need it. I need it! We're about to land, so will you please sit down and fasten your belt? Thank you, sir. Dr. Gropinger, sir. Once again, sir, will you please sit down and fasten your safety belt? The process of landing has not escaped me, Miss Goodbody, but I need my diary. I don't know where I am or who I'm supposed to be meeting next. Suffering from an infernal jet lag situation of truly cosmic proportion. Washington, 10.39 hours, 18th September, 1975. White House here. Tell him I'm out. No, no, this is the White House. The Chinese takeaway is 21664. This is 21164. That's okay. We get a lot of their calls. Now, just a minute. Just a minute. telling me he didn't know which country he was in. Affirmative, sir. At that moment in time, he was suffering from a jet lag situation. And as of now, he is suffering from a death situation. I mean, that is of now, of course, right? You just said as of now, sir. What? I just said you just said as of now twice already, sir. Don't call me, sir. I'm the president. Now, tell me again, saying Mr. President at the end of the sentence. I only said you just already said as of now twice already, Mr. President. Don't tell me what I just said. But you told me to tell you what I just said. Don't tell me what I just told you to say. Now, what was I saying? You! I can't say, sir. Kill me! No, sir! Are you disobeying an order? No, sir, I'm obeying an order. Who's? Who's giving the orders around here? You are, right, sir! Right. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. Don't call me sir. No, sir. That's better. 
Why do they shoot Chuck? You mean Henry, sir? Listen, I employed him. Don't you tell me what to call him. No, sir. No, Mr. President. Yes, Mr. President. That's better. Now, why do they shoot him? Um, Chuck, sir. I don't like Chuck anymore. I'm going to call him Arnie. Now, why didn't Arnie know which country he was in? He had lost his diary. But you found it. Negative, sir. Negative, sir. You found a negative. I was speaking in the negative. You found it. He was speaking in the negative, too, Mr. President. You were speaking to me in the negative? Now, hold it right there. There is a photograph of you speaking to me, and the negative was in Arnie's diary. Now, this is serious. No, it isn't, Mr. President. Why not? It doesn't matter, sir. Mr. President! It doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter, Mr. President. Mr. President. Why are you telling me all this? I am a busy man. I am the president of this great country. Yes, sir. Well, it's like this, sir. We found this, Mr. President. It's very precious, sir. It's our only piece of evidence as of this moment in time. So far as of yet. We're having it tested for fingerprints later. Mm -hmm. Today, groping her. Tomorrow, the world. Moriarty. It has a London postmark, sir. Sir! Now, as I understand the situation, we have got an international crisis situation on our hands here. No, his widow isn't going to make trouble. She has money of her own. Good. That's good. That's very, very good. Fine. Yes, sir. Get on the first plane to London, France. I want you to get on top of the situation. I want an every hour, on the hour, situation report from you. Affirmative, Mr. President. Sir. That's my boy. Actually, read all about it. World leaders threatened. London, England, tea time, 19th September, 1975. We have to accept a rethink of a whole new methodology to probe out the ongoing reevaluation of the potential situation. To seek out an overly acceptable uh, situation, which is not only fundamentally a low profile as of now, but also operative at this time in a potential let sleeping dogs lie situation. And the ongoing ballpark options make the whole goddamn shebang as of now okay in our book at this moment in time. Right on, comrade. If we don't make Moriarty inoperative as of now, it's an end of civilization as we know its situation. Thank you, Mr. Klein. Now, does anyone object if I continue in English? No? Oh, good. Well, now, getting down to brass tacks and to stop uh, beating about the bush and with no shilly-shallying. The point is that this, uh, this Mori, uh, Moriarty has given us five days to give him control of the world as we know it. And believe me.